And since I was little, my grandma got me started working with paper. So I think it started from there, but also that there's so much paper available from brochures, letters, and old magazines that we don't need anymore that it only seems rational to use this material that we have so much of for Swinging on a Star. My latest stop motion films, I had the story and I storyboarded it in my notebook. And then I hand cut about everything except for the stars. The visual inspiration was actually just collaging with tissue paper. I wanted to play with color and stars. I wasn't gonna settle for settling them on a page. After showing my film at the film festival, some teachers from other art schools and things complimented me and said I'm going places. And I think that sense of accomplishment and the fact that other people enjoy it just as much as I do, that drives me a lot. I fell in love with flowers when I lived in Boulder, Colorado. My mom would always cut fresh flowers and put them in the house and we'd always have new colors and smells. I think I just wanna replicate that color and bring it into my own room. Unlike uh, fresh wildflowers, these will last longer. I was taught how to make paper flowers as a kid, like in elementary school. Teacher got some tissue paper. Pinning it on the wall was my idea. And also hidden in my flowers are pictures of me and my friends together. Um, just because those are, those are very happy memories. I recently read a book on Buddhism. I think it's by Stephen Hagel, Buddhism Simplified. And he uses a flower analogy that I just fell in love with about the fragility of life. Flowers grow and they die eventually. A lot of the flowers in my room kind of reflect that philosophy. Some of these little projects create some breathing space for me. So it's not about the end result, but the process of making it. It's kind of like a form of meditation sometimes. I think distractions are a very important part of my work. Normally distractions might disrupt your logical process, but I think it allows some breathing space for new ideas to come in. Sometimes I fall into a rhythm like day to day and things just get boring sometimes. A nice distraction or something to throw you off, it really inspires me. Like my dog, for instance, I think just his energy is so contagious. He just bounces around and I can't just sit there and do nothing or he'll bite me. I think we can learn a lot from dogs. Dogs are just so excited for the little things. He reminds me to be energetic and I have so much energy that I have to exert it in creative projects. A lot of the crafts you'll see around my room, I think it just brings like a subtle excitement and color to my life quite literally and figuratively. At first I started to use it to compensate for kind of my drowsier, less colorful feelings. I've never been one to smile that often and people would always comment on my seriousness. So I think it's just an effort to bring in more cheerfulness into my life.